Thanksgiving Clinics of Los Angeles live stream on Facebook. We're glad to see you again this afternoon. It's another Friday afternoon. Another topic in those who are curious about ketamine and mood disorders. Today I'm going to tell you a little about ketamine as it relates to ladies who are pregnant. Uh, ladies have about a 25% chance of being depressed at some point in their lives. Pregnant women get some kind of depression, at least postpartum, around 13% of the time. Uh, this is triggered by a lot of things. The uh, continual hormonal flux creates quite a challenge for women to, ma to, to manage without becoming depressed or at least without having some kind of mood disorder. Once they've uh, delivered, uh, there are a lot of conventional medicines that help them. Ketamine can be among them. It works very quickly. It's very safe. Uh, it doesn't disrupt nursing nearly so much as some of the other medicines. And it gets the lady back to not being depressed quickly. This is really important because a lot of bonding, a lot of getting close in a really fundamental, lifelong way happens in the early days after delivery. But I wanted to mention also depression that occurs before delivery. Lots of ladies get this. It can be really just because the pregnancy is stressful. It could be because things happen in the relationship. It can be because of the stresses of dealing with the economic uncertainties and physical uncertainties and bodily changes. Uh, stimulates a depression that may have been latent before but now becomes much more prominent. In any event, uh, there's been a real problem with treating depression in pregnancy because of a fear of hurting the baby. Ketamine has not been used for this purpose. And in reading the things that have been used and the problems that have occurred, it occurs to me that it should be used and that there's no reason not to use it. So I'm not uh, telling you that I have a lot of experience with taking care of depressed ladies who are pregnant, but I am telling you they should have the benefit of this. Uh, guidelines for using ketamine have recently been published, and in responding to those guidelines, Jerry Sanacora, who is the lead author on the guidelines that the uh, American Psychiatric Association recently published, said, how can you not offer this to people who are suffering and potentially suffering a lethal malady. So I think we should keep ketamine in mind for antepartum as well as postpartum depression. It is definitely uh, an option. It's safer, it's quicker, and uh, less disruptive of the patient. Dr. Mandel, can you tell us a little bit about the um, downsides to some of the alternative depression treatments for pregnant women or perhaps uh, you know just I'm, I'm really just asking about your comment earlier that um, you know this is a difficult thing to manage with nursing and being pregnant and what medicines do and don't affect the baby how they do obviously a very sensitive issue uh, can you talk a little bit about uh, maybe some of the advantages that ketamine can bring to the conversation that uh, might be problematic with some of the other approaches well the traditional medicines, SSRIs, SNRIs, uh, do appear in milk. They are a category D drugs, means they are known to cause problems with animal pregnancies. Uh, they also tend to cause obesity and a loss of libido. These are not things that people who are already depressed should have to contend with. Uh, in the postpartum setting, uh, they take a great deal of time to reach peak effect, probably uh, eight to 12 weeks before we can be sure whether they're benefiting anyone or not. Ketamine we know with a matter, in a matter of hours to days. If it's working, great. It doesn't need to be continued, except intermittently, whereas these drugs need to be taken daily. And the mood lift 
according to most people, is superior. And in terms of categories of medications, um, do you mind talking a little bit about that, maybe for those who might want to have a little better understanding of how that works? Just the basics. Well, medications are rated as to their likely risk to the fetus. And the category D medication is more risky than a category C. It goes uh, A through, I believe, E. And uh, A category medicines don't hurt the fetus. We're pretty confident of that. B also don't, uh, with some qualifications. C are not known to cause problems, but are, there's no data that they don't. D, has, there's definite data that they do cause problems. Wow, and you're saying the majority, or if not all, of those conventional medications are category D? SSRIs, yes. SNRIs, SNRIs, MAOIs, and, and the like? That's correct. That doesn't mean that they will in a particular pregnancy. That means in animal models, they have been shown to cause problems in the fetus. Right, whereas uh, ketamine is C. So it's not that it has been shown to cause those issues, but it has also not been proven that it will not cause those issues. That's a fair summary, yes. Okay, interesting. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is a drug that is just coming into prominence, and I really hope that people have the opportunity to benefit from it. It really works very well much of the time, not all the time, not for everyone, but the risk-reward or risk-benefits relationship is such that it should be available to everyone who's suffering. Absolutely. Well, I really appreciate your time. I know that uh, you know, Fridays are busy and that you still have patients here. Is there anything else that you wanted to mention today to our viewers before closing? No, I'm very glad you tuned in. I'd like to see more of your questions coming in. I really appreciate the loyal following that I'm developing, and I hope to serve you well and for a long time. Uh, you can give me guidance as to what you want to hear, and I'll make sure that you, you get my, the benefit of my knowledge in that area. Thanks for coming. Excellent. Thank you so much. Do you have any uh, fun weekend plans before we go? I'm going to go skiing. It's warm here, but I understand there's good snow nearby. I'm going to find some. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Well, I hope you have a good time and you uh, come back to take care of patients on Monday in one piece. <laughs> Thank you. Okay.